Hello, sixth graders. Today we're going to be solving proportions by using cross multiplication. So we're still trying to find out what the unit rate is. We're using cross multiplication while we're doing that. So let's take a look at this first problem here. We're going to go a can of worms for fishing costs two dollars and sixty cents. Okay, so I'm going to draw a little picture that always helps. So the can itself is two dollars and sixty cents. There's twenty worms inside this can. Okay. What is the cost per worm? So that one's pretty easy. So you're going to take 260, you're going to take the price, and you're going to divide it by 20. So that gives us 13 cents. So we're going to take the price, 260, divide it by 20. We're going to get 13 cents per worm. Okay? 0 0.03 cents. At this rate, how much would 26 worms cost? Okay? Well, this is how you're going to do the cross. Um, you're going to do the cross um, multiplication with this method. So one worm is 13 cents. Okay. We want to know what 26 worms would be. We're not sure. Okay. I guess I maybe I should put a W here for the worms. Okay. Throw a W there. This is how you do cross multiplication. And that's very different than cross reducing. So watch closely. I'm going to multiply in this direction. So I have a W. 1w, w1, okay? And then I'm going to cross multiply. So 26 times, I'm going to cross multiply this direction, times 0.13. I'll do that on my calculator. 26 times 0.13 gives me 3.38 for an answer. 3.38 for an answer, okay? Now I'm going to divide this by w or by 1 I should say so that means one worm is the same as that is a very messy m $3.38 okay you also could have done this but I'm going to be showing you this method on every single one of these okay you could have taken this 0.13 and multiplied it by because one worm you can multiply that by 26 and you'll also get $3.38 Let's do another problem here, okay? Let's try another one. The 11 ounce bag of chips costs $1.99. So we have an 11 ounce bag is $1.99. What is the cost per ounce? So I'm going to do $1.99 divided by 11, and I'm going to get 18 cents an ounce. 0.8 an ounce. Okay, so how many steps? So one ounce is 0.18. Okay, that's the same as what is the cost per pound? Well, one pound has 16 ounces, and we want to know what that is per pound to the nearest cent. So we'll put a C there. If we cross multiply, okay, this would be a, a C because one C, one times C equals C. And then on this other side over here, I'm going to go 16 times 0.18, and I'm going to get 288 for an answer. $2.88 is your answer to that problem. Let's do another one. So kind of do some algebra with this too. Just one gram of venom from a king cobra snake can kill 150 people. So one gram can kill 150 people. Okay. At this rate, how many people would die in one kilogram? One kilogram is 1,000 grams, and we want to know P for people. Well, if we multiply, go this direction, we have a P equals, we multiply this, we get 150,000. And I'll be doing, showing you more of this. It's not cross-reducing, it's cross-multiplying. So when we go up this, so the equal sign's right here. So we're multiplying in this direction, so I have a P. Multiplying in that direction, so I have 150,000. Let's see this next problem here. A milking cow can produce nearly 6,000 quarts of milk per year. At this rate, about how many gallons of milk could a cow produce in five months? Well, look closely here. They're kind of switching this problem on us, okay? We're in quarts here, and then we're in gallons. So if you take about take that, we're gonna take six thousand and divide it by four to get it into gallons. We're at fifteen thousand. We're at fifteen thousand um, gallons of milk in twelve months. Okay, 
And the next one is, so we want to know how many gallons of milk would be in five months. So this is what we're trying to find. Cow, question mark, okay? Equals. So watch closely on this now, okay? We're going to multiply, so I have an equal sign here. This would be 12C, 12C. And this over here, 5 times 1,500. I believe it is 7,500, but I'm going to double check on my calculator. 7,500. Now what do we have to do to get rid of the C? I have to bring this over here and I have to divide by 12. I'm going to divide this by 12 right here. So what 7,000, so then we can leave the C all by itself. 7,500 divided by 12 gives me 625 for an answer. So after I divide this, it'll be 625. The C will be by itself. That's what it equals, 625. Moving on. Okay. A dog walking service costs 2520 cents for six months. What is the cost for two months? Now I'm going to show you kind of a different method for this, but let's let's just actually, so what would be two months? Well, let's take this right here, 6,000. We put it into two months. That means I just simply have to divide this number by three. So let's take, because if I take six months right here, so I can go 2,520 over six months. I know the two months, but I want to know the cost here, which I don't know, okay? And if I multiply, if I multiply and cross multiply here, okay, let's see what we get. Two times 2,520 is 5040 equals 6, and let's put an N here, 6N. We got to get N by itself, so we have to divide this by 6, okay? Let's see, 5,040 divided by 6 is 840. That'd be $840 for two months. Let's check the work on that, because if that's for two months, if I do 840 times three, that's going to get me to 2,520. So what is it for four years? Well, let's double check here, okay? So for two months, we'll use this number, okay? So do 840 for two months. So for three years, that'd be 36 months. I wonder what we would get for this answer, okay? Let's cross multiply. 36 times 842 gives me $30,312, and it equals 2 n. To get n by itself, so I'm going to divide this by 2. My answer is 15,156. Okay. Next problem. This one I walked in with a bunch of seniors to see what they could do for this problem. So watch closely on this. We're going to break this one down. This is a try this. A one pound bag of candy containing 502 pieces of candy costs 16 ounces per or 16.8 cents per ounce. Okay. A one pound bag. So first of all, we have to figure out, we have to break this into um, 16. So we're going to do 502 divided by 16, because there's 16 ounces, so that equals 31.375, okay? That's what we are per ounce, okay? And then we want to know what one piece of candy is in that. So, so this is what we have per ounce, and now we have to divide that by 31.375 divided by 16.8. And that's going to equal 1.86 for an answer, which is this one right here. So all we did, kids, is we took 502 pieces of candy. We divide it by 16 because that's how many ounces are in a pound. Then we had to divide that ounce by this number, 16.8, to find out what one piece of candy would be. Let's move on to the next problem. Mr. Rainier's car uses about 1.6 fluid ounces of gas per minute when the engine is idling. So this is a pretty important number. One night he parked his car and forgot to turn off the motor. He had just filled his tank. His tank is 12 gallons. But how many hours will it take before his car runs out of gas? Well, we have to put 12 gallons into 
ounces. One gallon is 128 ounces. Okay, you've learned that before. So 12 times 128 gives me 1,536 ounces. Once you have 1,536 ounces, you have to divide that by 1.6 per, per minute. So you're going to divide that by 1.6. So that gives you 960 minutes is what it would take for this car to run out of gas. But let's put that into easier term, terms. So we're going to divide that number by 60 because there's 60 minutes in an hour. So that means the car, we're going to divide that by 60. The car will run out of gas in 16 hours. These problems are a lot of fun. It was really fun stepping in and watching those seniors struggle a little bit with that too. So hopefully you enjoy this. Um, remember, you're trying to break down what is the rate and then using your math to solve the rest of the problem. Hopefully you enjoyed. I look forward to working with the math. You'll be doing some more problems like this today.